Hello, here is a slice of the liver and this liver is grossly very abnormal. We can see that it is involved by a diffuse process that essentially affects the entire cut section. There are multiple nodules here that are replacing the entire liver. The other very obvious abnormality is the colour of the liver. In the fresh specimen, this would appear somewhat greenish, but it's difficult to appreciate in this preserved specimen. So what we have here is a cirrhotic liver with a greenish discoloration. Most likely, this liver would also be smaller. If we look at the capsular surface, as we can see here, we can actually make out the nodularity very clearly indeed. Because the cirrhotic nodules are so small, this is micronodular cirrhosis. So this is an example of a cirrhotic liver with a greenish discoloration and the diagnosis here is biliary cirrhosis. Biliary cirrhosis can be primary or secondary. Primary biliary cirrhosis is a condition that arises usually on a background of primary biliary cholangitis where there is inflammatory destruction of the intrahepatic bile ducts. Whereas in secondary biliary cirrhosis, it could be due to several causes. Most of the time, these causes are attributable to obstruction of the extrahepatic biliary tree. So in adults, this could be due to cholelithiasis or stones. It could be due to strictures as well, which may have been iatrogenic or after surgery. And in children, biliary atresia is an important cause among other causes. So what happens is that there is obstruction of the flow of bile and therefore there's cholestasis within the liver parenchyma and hence this greenish discoloration. And the bile ducts themselves will usually have some degree of inflammation. There will be damage and fibrosis and eventually scarring throughout the liver and nodular regeneration of hepatocytes. So to ascertain the cause, it would be important to look at the history, the age of the patient, and the presence of clues, for example, if there are large dilated bile ducts with stone formation. On histology, there would be replacement of the acina or lobular architecture of the liver by these regenerative nodules, and there may be a jigsaw puzzle low power appearance of these nodules, and in between there will be fibrous septa with proliferation of ductules. Therefore, in summary, this is a case of micronodular cirrhosis, and we can also see that there is accompanying greenish discoloration of the liver parenchyma, and this is a case of biliary cirrhosis.